So we're now going to hear from Sharon Byrne. So Sharon Byrne is the executive director of WOLF, and she has been coordinating and promoting, uh, along with some other women's organizations and with some support from WDI, an open letter to UN Women. And so Sharon, could you tell uh, tell women about what the letter is, why it's necessary, and what is what you're hoping to achieve from it? You see what it what women can do, and that this is exactly what we should be doing. So I have a a very inspirational story to tell you too. I'm going to frame it in the context of the demotivational series. If you haven't seen them, these are a series of posters, go look them up <clears throat> done by Gen Xers who are just sort of pissed off at the world. And one of them, which is one of my favorites is a picture of a snowball going down a hill and turning into an avalanche. And the caption on here is never underestimate the power of what two snowflakes can do working together. So I'm, I'm set you, setting that context up because one of my partners are crying here that I adore is Clarice from Matria in Brazil. And I met her last October. She reached out to us. We immediately turned around and hosted a call with Reem Al-Salem, the special rapporteur on violence against women and girls at the UN. It was a great uh, evening. I was really glad that we did it. So Clarice reached out to me about a month and a half ago and said, hey, did you see this post by UN Women? And I should confess to everyone, I am a delegate to the Conference on the Status of Women in New York. I will tell you that at that conference, 10,000 women have very deep conversations about things like female genital mutilation, land for women to farm so they can exist, uh, femicide, child marriage, et cetera, right? Like very deep, serious, like major conversations. Trans is just not a thing at the conference on the status of women. It's just, it's just not. But UN Women has very much taken up the call. And Joe hosted me back in July um, at the WDI conference in London to speak about why the United Nations has been so captured. And it has a lot to do with UN women who unfortunately are funded heavily by my government, the United States, who is pushing this agenda. So when Clarice reached out to me and said, you know, we want to talk about this. And I said, okay, let's talk about it. What do you want to do here? She said, we, we have to do something. We, we have to get UN women just, uh, they, they've gone too far. They put out something in June for Pride Month that basically called all of us anti-rights, far-right bigots, all of us, the gender critical women who did not accept uh, trans into their spaces um, and who did not believe in gender ideology that we are all anti-rights, which is absolute bollocks and we all know it. So we tossed around a couple of ideas. What should we do? Do you wanna host a worldwide call with Joe? Um, and get a bunch of women on and, you know, really scream about it. Do you want to do a video about it? What do you want to do? We finally decided the thing to do is an open letter to UN women. And we looked through their mission, which their mission is a good one. They were started in 2010 and their job is the empowerment of women and girls to achieve true equality. I think we would all agree with that mission. <laughs> I think we would not have a problem with that mission, but they are way far away from that mission, way far away. So Clarice took the initiative to draft up the letter in Portuguese and translate it into English. And then Joe and I cleaned it up a little bit and got it sort of ready for English speakers. Then Clarice took it and put it into Spanish and French and others. So we reached out to Joe and I said, look, I'll contact a lot of the American women organizations. I'll contact some of the Canadians, some of the Anglosphere organizations. Joe, can you help us out? Because, you know, you know, a lot of them, you host them on this call every week. She said, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll get it out. Clarice reached out to Brazilian organizations. Amparo then took it, went to Spanish organizations. A friend of ours uh, that runs a lesbian group, um, she took it and got it to a bunch of other lesbian groups. Suddenly Germany starts signing on. Australia, New Zealand got hold of it. Canadian org started signing. Organizations I've never heard of. I, I've never heard of them. Um, and, and I think Joe had not even heard of some of these. And they came on from all over the world and gave us their logos and said, put me on this letter. So when you now look at the letter, which Clarice has done a good job putting it down here for you, so you can see it. <laughs> and you see all those women's organizations signing on and kicking back against you and women and saying, you've, you've lost your way. You know, you've lost the plot. You've lost your way. Get back to your job of empowerment of women and girls and getting us equal and get off of this shtick. This is really bad. So it's impressive to see that list of, of women's organizations from around the world. And you've got to realize if you're sitting there and at you and women and looking at that, while wow, they can't all be wrong, <laughs> you know, all these women can't be wrong. So then Clarice made it so that you could actually sign the letter individually as well. So not only do we have all these women's orgs that signed on officially, individuals could add their signatures too. So we sent out an email blast to, to Wolf um, members 
in the middle of this week and like over 9,000 signatures went up on that thing. We started, um, Clarissa originally wanted, I think, 3,500 signatures on it. We have blown past 4,200 uh, signatures as of this morning. Um, and the new goal is 5,000 signatures. And Clarice is a freaking genius because she set up the website. We got a bunch of email addresses. Our friend Anna helped us out. When you sign this website, when you sign onto this letter, it kicks off a bunch of emails to UN staffers. <laughs> so they're getting all of these emails from all of us saying, for the love of God, turn it off, right? Like stop doing this, right? So we have basically... Uh, I don't like to use this terminology in United Nations speak, but we are basically at war uh, with UN women and have let them know, like, you, you've got to do better than this. Then we went one step further in the United States because my country is the one pushing it in the United States. Um, and I have a great ambassador to the United Nations. It is Linda Thomas Greenfield. And she normally is is all that in the back. She's very, very competent. She's very capable. She has extensive experience in human rights, particularly in Africa. Um, so she should have been a fine. UN ambassador to the United Nations from, from the United States. But last year in March, she called a special meeting with the UN Security Council. This is the most important body inside the United Nations. These are the people that worry about ceasefires. These are the, the people that worry about, um, you know, global uh, unrest and conflict. And she called the special meeting and said, we're going to incorporate LGBTQI concerns into everything we do. And China, Ghana, Russia, and other countries said, no, we're not. This is absolutely the wrong place to do this. So remember, the United Nations is made up of member states. So we put in a request to U.S. supporters, please use the United Nations, the ambassador to the U.N.'s website, and contact Linda Greenfield Thomas and let her know American women are not good with pushing this ideology at the U.N. What we're hoping to do is apply a pressure wedge where she would then have enough emails coming from American women saying, cut this out, that she would be able to turn to our government and say, stop asking me to push this. The public's not with us on this. Don't stop it. Just, just stop it. So Clarice liked this idea too and pushed it out on social media. Um, and we've had quite a few letters come in to Linda Greenfield Thomas uh, saying, stop it, D you know, just back off of gender ideology. We are not with you. Um, and you need to quit pushing this at the United Nations. And what we're hoping is that other countries will follow suit, that they will reach out to their ambassador to the United Nations and say, you know, as a citizen of Austria or Canada or Brazil, stop this. We are we're not on board with this. And then that will give them kind of a relief valve to be able to turn to their own government and say, our people are not with us on this. Quit asking me to do this. Quit asking me to push this at the United Nations. So I'm really tickled that out of literally an afternoon call between myself and Clarice that we then dragged Joe into, this has turned into this worldwide effort with all these thousands of women signing on. And that's why I want all of you to be very inspired and just say to yourself, you know, like one woman can, right? Like one woman can, or three women can in this case, uh, you know, kind of really start to apply pressure and turn the situation around. And this is exactly what we need to be doing. We need to do this. We need to be able to put this pressure on. Um, and and really get our governments to understand that we're half the population and we're not with you on this. Cut it out, uh, back up and do the right thing here. So Joe, thank you for letting me come on. And I see Clarice is here and she's been putting things in the chat and I'm so proud of her. She's run a whole social media campaign on this. It's been really good. Um, and thank you, Joe, for taking this and getting it to all kinds of women's orgs around the world for us that you're in contact with that then blew my mind and shared it to all their friends in their countries, right? And shared it to other women's orgs in their countries that I don't think either one of us had met. Um, and so, yay, we now have this global coalition. So Clarice, of course, has turned around and said, do you want to do the same thing with Amnesty International? Yeah, I think we're going to pull this out again and again and again now that we have this group, right? Like we have a we have a route now and a, and a really good worldwide group that I think these voices could be raised in many, many efforts. So thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. 